Hello and welcome to this video that is going to show you some uh, a few extra tips and tricks when it comes to the gray book for Moodle. Now to be clear, uh, Moodle's gray book can do a billion different things and there's a billion different ways you can set it up and yes, I am exaggerating, but I'm going to show you some uh, things that I do and have done um, that uh, have been very beneficial where I can use the gradebook to help track things without it really uh, messing up the grades or messing up the gradebook. Okay, so the first thing I do is I go to a class and then I go to grades and then it will default basically to like the, I think it's like the grader report. Okay, so go make sure you go to the gradebook setup. Okay, so this is something that you should probably do after you've already set up your gradebook for the whole entire semester. Okay, so I'm in gradebook setup, and this way I, uh, I'm going to stay here. This way you won't see any student information. But you'll notice that I've got my gradebook set up. So I've got, you know, uh, according to the syllabus, attendance is 10%. So I actually, you know, put attendance, and I actually write 10%, and then make sure that the weighting is... Point one. This is just kind of like a double check for me. Okay, so then you have your different categories. Okay, the different categories here, and since these are weighted grades, I mean, for the most part, I have everything you know equal 100, whatever. Now, that's not always the case because if you look at the writing projects, <clears throat> so I have my students do for the writing projects, I have them do a first draft and a final draft. Well, for the first draft. It's, um, you know, I just want to make sure that they have written a, a full first draft and so I can see what they've done, see what they've kind of are working on, see where they're headed, and give them direction on what they need to do to, um, you know, meet the elements on the rubric and to improve their assignment or whatever. So it's not really, I mean, the first draft is really just to kind of like a foot in the door, okay? So it's part of this project. So you'll notice that I only have assigned it 10 points here, okay, where the final writing project is worth 100 points. Now, the whole thing is going to, you know, eventually be worth 10% of their final grade. But um, by doing it this way, I mean, it doesn't make any sense to me, at least, to have the first draft be as worth as much as the final draft. The final draft is really, you know, the big deal, the big enchilada. But I want to give them something for doing... Um, the the first draft. Now, there is an inherent problem in doing this because this is a weighted grading system. So let's say they do the first draft of uh, the paper and they got, uh, you know, basically, because basically as long as they've done a first full draft, I give them full points um, to do it. You know, if they've done like a par part of a draft, um, then I'll get, you know, I won't give them. They'll earn 5% or, you know, 5 points or whatever. Okay. However, because this is a weighted grading system, if you only have the first draft graded and not the final draft graded, it really makes the grades kind of go weird. It really inflates the grades because um, the way the weighted grading system works is like it looks at every bucket and says, okay, how much is in each bucket? That's, that's how much we're going to wait till the overall grade. So if I have, you know, if a student has 10 in the first draft and they, we haven't done the final draft yet, then the weighted grading system is going to say, oh, okay, well, they've got a perfect 100 in writing project one, so it's really going to inflate their grade. And then when the students turn in their final draft, and let's say they get like at 85, all of a sudden then their grade goes down. And they're like, wait a minute, how did my grade go down when I got a good grade on writing project one? Um, here's the way that you can get around that. So what you can do is if you're going to do it this way, if you're going to have multiple categories where it's going to be, uh, you know, a big thing, if you go to the writing project one, and I just click edit here, okay, and I'm going to edit settings, okay, and it's kind of hiding, we go to show more, so what I do is I actually will have them, um, be, when they just have the first draft due, I will change it to drop the lowest one, so when they do the first draft, I've got record of it, but it doesn't count towards their grade. Now, when I grade their final draft, I go in and change this back to zero, so they get credit for the first draft and the final draft. Now, is it that big of a deal? Not really, but ever since I've been doing I mean, because I'll every semester when I didn't do this, students would be like, wait a minute, you know, because, I mean, especially, let's go back to, um, like, let's say, Writing Project 3 here, okay? Writing Project 3 is worth 20% of their grade, right? So if they've got, you know, a 10, you know, 10 here, and they do a 20%, and then they don't turn in the final draft, well, their grade is going to go from, you know, basically, you know, it's going to drop, like, almost 20%, because, you know, out of 110 points possible, it's like, it goes way down. 
So that way, you know, because students should be able to check their grade and see what they have at any particular time. So that's one trick you can use um, that I would recommend when you're, um, you know, and again, when you're using a weighted grading system, not everything has to be the same amount based on what you're, what you have planned going on. Okay, so that's part one. Part two is kind of this concept of the extra credit bank. Okay, so the extra credit bank is um, something that I do where I have it. You'll so you'll notice that all of these things are under, you know, the rest of these assignments here are under um, certain categories, okay? But I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, six things here that are not in categories, okay? I've got, um, so I, I have them do a few extra credit things like a midterm service, a midterm survey, uh, end of term survey, and extra credit assignment. Um, just to help them along the way. These are not big things, but usually I say I'll, you know, I'll, I'll apply ten points or five points to whatever, um, you know, latest assignment we've been working on. So, like for midterm survey, they can earn up to five points towards writing project one because that will be done by midterm. Okay, so what happens is once they've done the midterm survey, I actually physically go into the grade book and just add those five points to their overall grade. Now, what happens if um, they, they don't need the five points? Okay, <laughs> okay, or you want to, you know, be able to keep track of something else. This is where I have this thing called the extra credit bank, okay, and this is where I'm like, extra credit they've earned. And again, you can use this for all sorts of different things like tracking, which I'll show you like down here, okay? But what you, how you create these is that you go and you add a grade item, okay? Add a grade item. And we'll call this um, <clears throat> tracking, uh, I don't know, uh, tracking extra credit. We'll just call it that just for the giggles, okay? Now, um, you can say the maximum grade of 100. You can change this. and It's got to be at least one. It doesn't matter because it's not going to be counted as part of the grade because you'll see that the item weight is at 0%, which means it will not count towards the grade. Okay, so when I hit set, save changes now, it's going to recalculate the grades. Do, 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 do. Okay. And I'm going to pause this video because I'm, I'm afraid it's going to show the actual students' grades. Hold on. Okay, it didn't show the students' grades. Okay, but now, down here, I've got this thing in tracking extra credit grade. Okay, so I've got this little thing. And again, it doesn't count towards the grade. Now, what I can do, and it's going to kind of be hard to show. Actually, I'm going to pause this again and I'll show you something else. All right, so I took a screenshot and then I redacted the uh, the students' information here. Okay, so... Um, this, these are the extra credit little things that I put here at the end, okay? Um, now, in order for us to see the little, because this is where the grade goes, right? Um, it's the comment section, and how you can access that is by clicking on, turning on editing, okay? And so here's what I did. It's like, so for like, for this student right here, um, they did the extra credit for whatever, okay? And they ended up not needing it. So I ended up saying, okay, well, I'm just going to bank that. So I'm just going to put into here plus 10, you know, um, you know, the, the points they had earned. And then you can see I keep like kind of like a rolling a tally. Because sometimes it's, let's say they can earn 10 points on an assignment. Well, let's say they only need two. Okay. So then I'm going to save the other points possible, you know, in different categories. Okay. So that's the way you can kind of keep track of things that way. Um, by putting it in here. This does not show up on the grade book for the students. It does not, whatever, um, as far as like, um, you know, influence their grades or anything like this. It's just a place where you can put information on the grade book that doesn't really mess with anything. Now, just a little side note, another thing that I did here is, oh, just by the way, so this is the tracking EC that we had created just before. So you'll see that it's just all blank and that gives me a chance to put in information. Now I'm not going to put any, any information in here because it's, you know, that may show up for the grades for the students to see. But anything that's in these kind of like little text box here that are dashed, the students necessarily uh, wouldn't see or wouldn't have an impact on their grade. Okay, now one thing that I did, this is again, now if you're done, you got the information you need, great, you can go ahead and stop this video. But here's another thing that I tried. Um, last semester, actually, the semester that I actually did this, so I taught this uh, fall of 2023, or 2022, is an English 112 class. So I had um, quizzes and I had essays uh, every single, just about every single week. And 
Um, they were uh, assigned on Monday. We went over the information on Monday. They, you know, whatever, had all the access they needed to be able to take the quiz and to submit the essay by Monday. And I have my deadlines as Friday, Friday night um, by, you know, basically midnight um, with no late work accepted. And one thing I tried was um, to try to help students with their um, time management skills and to help them understand the value of being proactive and getting stuff done when you can. I had it so that if they completed the quiz by Wednesday night, by Wednesday night by midnight, um, then I would basically throw that into, um, I would keep track of it. So you'll see these numbers here, these one, two, three, four, five. So for example, this student right here did five of the quizzes early, okay? This one did eight, this one did nine, okay? And so then when I told them, I mean, again, you can use any system you want. I said, for every three that you do early, I will drop one of your scores, one of your quiz grades, one of your lowest quiz grades, okay? So it's not like a one-for-one -one thing, but I, this way, I, you know, it keeps track. And then at the end of the semester, I just make sure that, you know, like based on how many people did stuff early, okay? And you can see, you know, with the, uh, so the essays, it wasn't as much, but it was a thing, right? So people did do it. And um, the students that bought into it, you can see the students who really kind of bought into this, right? Um, a few here, 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 here. Um, the students that bought into this really loved it because they would tell me, man, I've always just waited till Friday to do my work. And, you know, the fact that I got my, my quizzes and my essays done by Wednesday, then I was like, man, I didn't feel nearly as pressured. Now, we will have bigger assignments that are due on Friday and other things that we're working on in the class, right? But these are kind of the low stake assignments that they just have to do that can really kind of just build up and then get to the end of the week and they're like, ah, so this was kind of like a nice way of, of, you know, they still had till Friday if they didn't get it done early. And this was not exactly 100% extra credit as much as something they had to work towards. But again, this is the way that I decided to track it um, to help it. And again, I got a lot of feedback from students said that this was the best thing since sliced bread. The ones who bought into it, they, like, it's like, this was a game changer for me. I never really realized how great it was to just be able to get stuff done. I would go after class on Monday and go take the quiz. And it was done. And, you know, I didn't have to worry about it. It was like, what? And I'm like, I know, right? And same thing with the essays. I was like, I just go do the essay because it was fresh in my mind and whatever, instead of just waiting. And then I'm like, oh, yeah. I'm like, yeah. So, you know, I'm excited about that. So anyway, so there's the stuff about some grading stuff you can do. Again, there's a billion different ways you can do it. But the goal here is actually, I'm going to show you one more thing. So here's the other thing. When it comes time to ex uh, export your uh, spreadsheet, when you're all done, if you'll notice here, this is all the stuff that I have, but all this stuff that's like, this is really where the grade book ends, right? All this other stuff is just for me. So all I had to do is uncheck these. And when I hit download, it'll download the, the grade book with only the information that is related directly to their final grade, what they totally earned for their final grade. Not this extra stuff that I've just used for tracking. So anyway, there's this little video on this. So hopefully it'll help you and uh, yeah, go have fun with it.